Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to the Wave Spline module. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps Wave grow in the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, let's click on the plus sign and um, let's search for NADSR because I need to control the amplitude of a wavetable oscillator, which I'm going to add now. Click on Generator and then Wavetable Oscillator. As you know, to add effects from the uh, to the wavetable oscillator, we click here and then click on the plus sign, and it opens up already on the processor wavetable, and here you can find the new wave spline. There it is. Now, if you click on this and click on help, you have a bit of a help, but it's uh, not a lot. As you can see, it works for spectral signals like the wavetable oscillator. Now, let's click here and uh, open the output so we can clearly see it. We have a generate button here. I, it is actually a mode. You can change from generate, wave shape, phase shape, and then back to generate. And we have a drive and wet effect. And then here we have the uh, the graph representing uh, uh, this line, which uh, is going to be applied uh, to the wave table oscillator. Indeed, at the moment we have a dry and wet F um, dial set to dry. So as soon as I move it up, you can see it's morphing into this line, which is positioned as a, a generate in mode generate. Okay, let's see what it sounds like as a basic shape, which is a sine waveform. Of course, you can change the position on the wave table, so from sine to triangle. So, and then back up to um, square. And of course, you can also change the phase here. And you can uh, leave it set to free or change it as you like manually, or you can modulate that. Of course, you can modulate also the dry and wet um, dial as well as any other controls inside Drumbo. Now, let's see what happens when you are in generate mode and you change the dry wet effect. You see, it is actually moving um, morphing it up to represent this line, okay? Now, if you go back and change the position, you will see it's not changing, but you can still change the phase. Okay, that is very useful. Now, let's uh, go back to the dry to be zero, and let's change the mode to wave shape, and see what happens. Not much. Really? and the same on um, phase shape because of the type of uh, spline that we actually have available. So let's click on it and let's change it. And let's go for the step here, like so. And then we are going to move uh, this dot, this point right there. Okay, now let's go back to generate and you can see the dry wet is set to maximum to wet and you have the representation of these uh, waveform or spline. Now let me show you what happens as soon as um, you have it on wave shape. So it's changing the shape of the wave, which is quite different from generate. As you can see, with driver and wet is morphing into this spline, while with uh, wave shape mode is reshaping uh, the wave. And you can obtain some quite interesting effect depending on the position, of course, of the dry and wet dial. course phasing then and you can see a dramatic effect here on the phasing because of the spline here the curvature I have at the top and 
and so on and so forth. So you can create very unique um, waveform. You can uh, change very much the way that the wavetable oscillator works with different type of shapes. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time.